Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about the various uh, gas vesicles present in the bacteria. First, the gas vacuoles. The gas vacuoles are the structures that provide the buoyancy to the prokaryotes, particularly the prokaryotic organisms which are present in an aquatic environment. And these vacuoles are present in many photosynthetic bacteria and a few aquatic prokaryotes such as uh, halobacterium that is a salt-loving archaea and a thiothrits that is a filamentous bacterium. Next, gas vesicles. The gas vacuoles are the aggregate of uh, enormous number of small hollow uh, cylindrical or uh, conical shaped structure that is called as uh, uh, gas vesicles. And the gas vesicles are vary in length and it measures about 300 nanometer to uh, more than 1000 nanometer in length and its uh, width is 45 to 120 nanometer and the number of uh, gas vesicles present in the bacteria varies from a few to hundreds per bacterial cell and next the gas vesicles the the walls of the gas vesicles are composed of uh, entirely uh, two small protein subunits uh, one is the major protein and the another one is a minor protein. The protein GBPA is called as the major protein and the protein GBPC is called as a minor protein. And these two protein subunits uh, assemble to form a rigid uh, enclosed cylindrical that is uh, hollow. And these two protein subunits are impermeable to the water uh, but freely permeable to various atmospheric gases. Uh, because of the easy permeability of these atmospheric gases, uh, it provides the buoyancy to the aquatic living organisms, particularly the aquatic prokaryotes, and helps the aquatic prokaryotes to float in the water bodies. And next, uh, regarding the functions, the aquatic prokaryotes with uh, gas vesicles can regulate their uh, buoyancy to float at the depth uh, necessary for uh, proper light intensity and proper oxygen concentration and to get the proper nutrient levels and next to the photo phototropic aquatic prokaryotes uh, in particular uh, they can benefit from their gas vesicles uh, because uh, they allows the cell to adjust their vertical portion in a water column uh, to sink or rise to uh, regions where conditions like uh, light intensity are optimal for the photosynthesis process and next the uh, gas vesicles uh, can be also used to, to maintain the optimum salinity uh, in the bacterial cells by positioning the organisms in specific locations in a, a stratified body of water to prevent the osmotic shock. And the ability uh, of the bacteria to synthesize the gas vesicle is one of the many strategies that allows the salt-loving halophilic organisms to tolerate the environment with high salt concentrations. And that's all about the gas vesicles. Thank you for your support. Thank you.